Hello, I'm Guinevere, and today I wanted to tell you about how to do commissions. I'm starting a new commission right now, and so I wanted to tell you about the process and how it works and how to make sure that you get a good deal out of it. Making a deal is really one of the most important parts of the commission process. You want to make sure that you're happy and your client is happy. I usually base my prices on what my paintings are selling for currently, and I usually go by size and the complexity of the composition. So if they wanted something really detailed and really complex, even if it's not a large painting, that would make the price go up a little bit. I also suggest adding on 10 to 20% because it's a commission, they're specifically asking you to do something. So there's a premium for that service. And of course, there's always going to be a negotiation. So again, I suggest starting out high. So if you really would do it for a little bit less, start a little bit high and then allow them to negotiate you down. Maybe they won't and you'll get extra. Once the money talk is out of the way, then you can start to worry about what they really want and getting very clear about what that is. So one of the things that you can do to help this process is get images from them and really try to talk about the mood and what they want the painting to convey. You can also do a study, which is what I'm working on here. So this commission I'm working on is actually gonna be a much larger painting. And since it's gonna be a larger painting, I wanna make sure that I know exactly what I'm gonna be painting before I start working on the big painting because I don't wanna to have to go back and redo a, an entire five foot painting. Part of your deal needs to have an area of time where you're working on what the composition is gonna be and what the painting is going to look like. But you wanna make sure not to do this until you've received money. So in order to make sure that you are taken care of, you need to receive a deposit up front. This could be 50%, 30%, whatever you and your client feel comfortable with. Once you've received the deposit, then you can get started working on the design and composition of the painting. After I received the deposit, the first thing I did was a quick sketch just to get the idea down and so I could start to piece things together and see what it would look like. The next thing I did was start working on this color study. Now this study is mine. I'm not gonna be giving it to the client, which is why I'm painting it in my really cool oil painting sketchbook. If you wanna learn how to make one of those, you can check out my other video here. And I'm just doing it to give the client an idea of what it's gonna look like and to really work it through myself. Since I'm not working directly from one photo here, I really have to use my imagination and create something on my own. So I really wanted to do a study and I may even do a second study. Now, once the client sees this and approves it, says, yes, that's what I like, I'd like it like that, then you can receive the next portion of your payment. That's what I like to do is make sure that once we both agree that this is what I'm gonna be working on, then I'll accept another third of the payment. And then I usually accept the final third once the final painting is completely finished. So this is the part where if the client wants to change something or wants it to be a little bit different, maybe the sky a different color or whatever, this is the opportunity for them to do that. I don't wanna start the large version of this painting before knowing exactly what I'm gonna be doing in that larger painting. So there is this period of redoing and making sure that you get it right before you actually start working on the finished painting. This particular commission is to do a painting of Chernobyl when it's melting down and also at night. So it looks very ominous and dark and sort of a message to humanity about nuclear energy. And I thought it was a really unique and interesting request. So that's why I accepted it. Cause I, for me, I thought it would be a challenge and I thought it was something very unique that you definitely don't hear about paintings to do with Chernobyl very often. As I continue to go through this commission process, I'll release some more videos along the way so you can see the progress and how it's coming along. In the meantime, why don't you check out some of my other oil painting videos, like this one I did last New Year's, and I also have some playlists you can check out, and I'm gonna start featuring some of my favorite artists on YouTube in the circle below. So I'll see you next time.